Fruits Basket is a show like no other. Coming into it this year, I didn't know what to expect. I knew it was a shoujo romance that would probably have some emotional parts and feature these characters that turned into animals for whatever reason, but none of this really interested me. Hence why I never saw the original, despite me hearing it was good from everyone I heard talk about it. Now that I've seen this new version though, well, it's one of the best shows of the year, hands down. It's emotionally charged, filled with broken characters, and is all about being a better person through the connections with others. It has a power like no other anime I've seen, and is one that really is worth watching. So let's go through a few of the reasons that make the show so special, and why you should watch it. First... Toru. Toru is the main character of the show and is the centerpiece of everything that the show is doing. She is the type of person I want to be more like. The world needs more Torus. She has an inner strength and a love for everyone around her that is just inspiring. Shortly before the series started, she lost her mother in an accident and there wasn't any family she could stay with. So she ends up living in a tent, but instead of being down about it, she just embraces this life and does the best that she can, despite it being far from ideal. She's very selfless, not wanting to inconvenience others, despite her having friends who would gladly let her stay with them if she asked. You see, the thing about Toru is that she's not perfect. She is selfless, but to a fault. Though despite of and because of her flaws, she's able to change the lives of those around her, even if she does not even know she's doing it. All the characters have their share of emotional baggage. The Soma clan are most of the characters that Toru meets throughout the series, and 13 members of the clan have the power, or the curse, to turn into an animal when they are hugged by someone of the opposite gender. This may seem like a fun gag, and it is, but it is so much more. The thing that really stood out to me is that the show really used what you could see as just a gag to its fullest. It shows what life would really be like for people like that. They want to keep it a secret so they cannot ever be hugged by someone, at least in public, which really isolates them from the rest of society. Plus, imagine how a parent would feel if their child is that way. All the characters have gone through trauma, which has shaped them. Some seem to deal with it better than others, but it is often the ones who seem to be the most put together that are the most messed up. What is really interesting is how deeply the pain that the characters have felt has shaped them. Some of them just close everyone else off, others just accept that their life might as well be over, and others lash out at everyone around them. The whole cast is just wonderful. Some characters may take a bit to warm up to you, but they all have their reasons for acting the way they do, and once you understand them, all of the characters are really great. And I love how some of the characters are trying to do the best they can, trying to help others, but because of what they've been through, they have no idea how to do so. And then the most powerful scenes of the show are the ones where you see the characters finally starting to break from their past, especially because of how hard it is for them to do so. This season of Fruits Basket is very character focused, so much that there really isn't an overarching plot. The pieces are being set up, but the real focus of the show is just on these interesting characters. Typically this would make me not like the show, but every character is done so well that I love seeing their stories and I like pretty much every single episode. Except for Kagura's introduction, but she redeemed herself later on, so that's okay. And then Toru again. All the characters' interactions with Toru are amazing. And I also like seeing the characters, through their brokenness, try to do the best that they can. But they have no idea how, especially for some of the kids. One of the things that the show really uses to its advantage is its length. The first season is only the beginning, and there are rumors that the show will have 63 episodes total, so assuming that's true, which I'm not saying it is, that will give them plenty of time to flesh out everything. And that will let the show have the characters grow gradually. There are some big character moments where a person has changed forever, but there are also very small moments where they grow and don't even notice it. And this makes the characters feel real, that they aren't just being strung along where their plot demands but are instead learning and growing and changing as real people would. I also like how the show uses the side characters. They just show up when it makes sense to, even if it's not a big episode for them. For example, Emoji-san really cares about Toru and the rest of the characters, but he's off doing his own thing most of the time. Though if he hears something is happening, he'll show up, or he'll just like run into Toru, just in ways that make sense. Or you'll have a Kisa just hanging out at Shigure's house because she likes being with Toru. Even if she's not contributing much, but you still just see these small pieces of her showing how she has grown because of Toru. And I also love Toru's friends Uo and Hana. A lot of times you'll have a best friend character in the anime, but they really don't do much. 
Instead, the show is focused on the main character meeting new people in those stories that the best friend characters are really just forgotten. But Uo and Hana have a big role in the story. When they learn that Toru is living at the summer house, they go to investigate, in sh- making sure that her friend is being well taken care of. And they also have some great episodes dedicated to them, which are arguably the best in the entire show. But the thing that really stands out to me about the show is how it shows the characters' lives changing. I mentioned before that all the characters have been through a lot of trauma, and it really does mess them up. They grow to hate themselves or their life, or just don't see any way to change. But through their interactions with Toru, they are able to make this change. But the thing about changing your life for the better is that it is not easy. There is going to be pain. Even if you know that your life isn't good right now, complacency is easy. A change for the better will take a while. And it's scary. Why take a life that you at least know and throw that away for something that maybe will be better, but could also be worse? With Toru and the people around her, she's able to give these characters hope. But it's still the choice that they make to take that step forward with the encouragement of Toru and their other friends that they're able to do it. Since Toru does not change their lives directly, she just believes in them, sees the good in them when they may not see the good in themselves, And that is the push they need so they can take that step. One of the things about Taru is that she just doesn't get how special she is. She thinks she's an ordinary person, or she might know she's a bit strange, but she doesn't see herself as the one to change people's lives. She is just being a friend. Someone who does what anyone else would do. The other characters are like that too. They don't see the good inside of them. At least not until Taru points it out. And that is the catalyst for their lives being changed. That's why I want to be more like Toru. She may not have it all figured out, and she is most definitely flawed. But she's able to reach those she cares about and save lives even if she doesn't understand why. She's able to believe in people, encourage people, and I I want to be like that. And there are times where she just has no idea how to handle a situation, but she goes for it anyway. And yeah, the world needs more Toru's. So that's a few reasons why I love Fruits Basket so much, and why I love Toru so much. But there are many other reasons I could talk about, and I have talked about, and if you want to hear me talk about that, go check out the Fruits Basket podcast I am part of. It is with my friend C Tactics, also known as Bento, and we've done it every week since the show started, and there's a lot of things we talk about. A lot of completely off-topic stuff, too, but it's been a fun podcast. If you want to hear me ramble with a friend for like a half hour about every episode, you'll have a good time there. Though I'm guessing a lot of you probably found me from that podcast, so yay, advertising. So now, if you'll excuse me, I need to stop being distracted by Discord long enough to get this video up. Even though after I'm recording this, I'm actually going to go join a Discord call with friends. Whatever the case, talk to you later.